All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to graph um, the following, y equals negative 1 fourth um, times the absolute value of x minus 4 plus 2. This is the absolute value function. And a quick little reminder, you guys remember that the parent graph of absolute value function is just a, a v, um, has a v form. So what we need to do is when we're picking a table of values, we need to be very careful on what values we pick. Because if we just pick all the values on the right side of v, it's going to look like a straight line. And we'll be confused on where, what points are going to be on the left and what points will be to the right of our v. So the one thing that is going to help us is if you just have a regular x in there, you want to find, we need to find this lowest point. So the lowest point in our absolute value is going to be what makes, what, it, what makes inside the absolute value zero. If you just have a regular x, this is the absolute value of x, then zero will obviously be your lowest point. But if you have x minus 4, or x plus 4, or anything like that, then you need to find what value is going to make that 4. I'm um, sorry, what value is going to make that 0. Then that will be your lowest point, and then you need to pick a point to the left and a point to the right of that. So if I look at inside this absolute value, I see that it's x minus 4. So I can make this, to make this 0, I would be, I would just have to plug in a positive 4, correct? So I'll have, um, I'll have one point will be my 4, and now from 4, I want to pick a point that's going to be less than 4, and it's also going to be greater than 4. Now, um, the next thing I want to look at is, I notice that I'm multiplying by a fraction, and it, you guys got to be very, very careful when you're multiplying by fractions. If you just pick any other number, if I just pick a 3 or a 1, then I'm still going to have a fraction in my answer, and it's a very hard to go ahead and graph with your fractions. It's very easy to make your mistakes. So what I'm going to do is I want to pick a number that's less than 4, but that is still a multiple of my 4. It's just going to make it very easy for me to graph. So I'm going to pick negative 4. Because I know that negative 4 is at least going to be a multiple of my, um, whenever I put in here, it's going to be a multiple of 4 over there. And then my other two numbers, I'm just going to pick 8. And if we want to do another one, we could do 12, but I don't have that ready on my graph. So now let's go ahead and plug them in. Remember, when now when you're solving your table, you plug in your value for x, into your, uh, into your equation and solve, and solve and find your y value. So if I do the first one, y equals a negative 1 fourth times negative 4 minus 4 absolute value plus 2. Negative 4 minus 4 is a negative 8. Absolute value, the absolute distance of negative 8 from 0 is going to be 8. Then 8 times negative 1 fourth is going to be a negative 2. So we'll have y equals a negative 2 plus 2, y equals 0. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the next one. Uh, y equals 1 fourth, and I don't know if I have enough to go over here. y equals negative 1 fourth times 4 minus 4 plus 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 times 1 fourth is 0. Plus 2. Y equals 2. And let's do 8. Y equals negative 1 fourth. 8 minus 4. Sorry. That's a, 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 times negative 1 fourth is a negative 1. Y equals 1. Can you do 12 too? Sure. Because... I have four boxes on mine. Y equals negative one fourth plus twelve minus four plus two. Twelve minus four is eight. Eight times negative one fourth is gonna be again. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be a negative twelve minus four is eight. Eight times negative fourth would be a negative two. Plus two again would be zero. Okay. So now let's go and see how this is going to graph. So I go over to negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's at y value is 0. Then I go over to positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. Then I go over to 8, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 1. And then I go over to 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and that would be at 0. Oh, I'm sorry, that's positive at that one, right? And that's at 12. Where does 12 come from? I plugged it in down here. Why? 
it's just another point you can pick. I, Kayla asked me to pick four points rather than three. You can, I mean, it's a whole set of points. I mean, you can pick, there's more points you can pick. You know, you can put, a, I mean, you have a whole set of points you can pick. It doesn't matter what values you pick. I chose negative four, four, and eight because, well, first of all, I chose four because that makes inside the absolute value zero. So I knew that was going to be my apex or my low point of my absolute value function. And then my other two points, negative four and eight, the reason why I chose those uh -huh. is because I know once you plug them in, they will be divisible. They will be divisible by my fraction foot one fourth. All right. And then I also I wrote up four boxes. So Kayla said to go ahead and use twelve. Now if I was going to go ahead and graph this, you just go ahead and connect the dots. And just remember those continue lines. So that is exactly what your absolute value is. Notice it's we will get to the reasons on why this is moved over. Because remember our paragraph is a uh, our paragraph is a V. Well, this is a downward V, and that's pretty stretched and elongated out. All right, so that's how you graph the following um, absolute value function, y equals negative 1 fourth x uh, times absolute value of x minus 4 plus 2.